Hello guys, welcome back to another Boomage video. So today we are going to be showing you my defense log. Hopefully we'll be able to get some good replays in. I haven't won any. I like to do these from time to time because a lot of people want to know what it's like having a almost maxed out base before the update. It was maxed, of course, but now it's not. But it, it used to be, so I have pretty much almost all, I guess I can't say all max defenses. I have four boom cannons, so boom cannon power, oh penis. So we're going to see how those play out. I haven't noticed too big of an issue because people take them out ahead of time. This guy defeated my base with three scorchers. <laughs> what? I didn't watch any of these replays. I don't usually watch replays. So it it goes to show you that if you don't have like prototypes besides that or the laser beam built if you don't have prototypes shield blaster or laser or a doom cannon it's gonna be hard taking on this base and i know my base isn't an anti-scorcher base but still someone's able to beat my base with free scorchers something is messed up about the game but i love scorchers so yeah so he's just gonna go flanking around my base and usually you don't want to flank with scorchers but this guy is going to, and look at those zoom mortar shells, and this guy is just moving into my base, going to tear apart the high dealing damage, and then just move in, taking out all the buildings around it, and this is something I never thought of, like going around or something, but he tears apart my base, and this one scorcher actually looks like it's about to die there, so he does a reflare back, gets out of range, and he's like, okay, I hope nothing dies, so we're going to speed it up here, now it's just a time battle, and uh, so close yet so far, yeah, there we go, so he's able to beat my base, it's crazy, though, if you think about it, that someone's able to beat base with that much Scorchers, so, next battle, this guy attacked me with 8 Scorchers, Scorchers are definitely getting popular, this guy's level 9 Scorchers, so that's kind of cool, and he also has a level 21 gumbo, but that's something you usually don't see from people, so he doesn't have any level 21 boats like me, but still. It costs a lot of a lot of loot to upgrade your boats to 21 and your gunboat. So he doesn't have enough energy to pull all the scorches at once, but he does get them all down eventually. And now he's just going to move up into the base and just plummel it. it. It's like impossible to defend without prototypes. The only reason I have this one prototype and it's a level 1 prototype is to defend against warriors. And I know that some people figured out a warrior strategy against it, but still, it still helps against people who don't know a warrior strategy against it. So this guy lost a ton of heavies. So this guy actually made a major mistake here. You don't want to take out rocket launchers with hookah. At least in my experience, you want to take out the boom cannons because I asked people on the forums what you want to take down with hookah. And they said, always take down the boom cannons because if your heavies all go down, these are going to one shot his heavies. If your heavies all go down, you're not going to be able to stay alive. Your Zookas won't live. You only want to take out the rocket launchers. So I think he took out all my rocket launchers. Oh, no, I have one there. You don't want to take out the rocket launchers until your troops are, like, in its range. Because if the heavies are in the dead zone of the rocket launcher, then it is going to be bad. Because, uh... If the heavies in the dead zone of the rocket launcher, then all your zookas are just gonna die so fast. But he did beat my base, as you see here. The doom cannons are gonna one boom cannons. I'm sorry, are gonna one shot his troops. And this guy actually has some HP boost on because these zookas would die by my level 21 mines, but they don't now. So yeah, the mortar just going work. It, it's a very easy replay. He definitely made a lot of mistakes. I've seen a lot better attacks, Hoka attacks on my base here. And now, at this point, you would want to worry about splash damage, not solo damage. So, but at the beginning, you'd want to worry about uh, solo damage, high dealing damage, or just fast dealing damage that could destroy you. But he ends up taking it down. I would have personally went from the other side. It would have been a little cleaner. But that's just the way he did it. So this guy destroyed me with four Scorchers. Which isn't five, which isn't three or five, it's four. I don't know where I was going with that. So he, he's going for a different strategy. He's just going to move up into my base and just see if he could attack it, defeat it. I don't know what boost this guy's had, this guy had on, but still, if you're, 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 it's, it takes a lot of skill to, he, okay, he did lose one. I didn't notice that. Okay. It takes a lot of skill to defeat a base, and it looks like he's going to lose the one up there, and then, uh, that one is so close to dying also. 
So chances are it's the at the end of his map clear, and he's just like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna do this. So he's on the HQ. HQ's gonna go down, and he does get a victory. He did lose two, which is definitely good. He had a ton of GBE boost. Look at that GBE boost. So level eight scorchers. Scorchers are so OP, guys. You guys have no idea. <sighs> And he's going to go take down the rocket launch, I mean, the boom cannons first, which is a good idea. Always a good idea to take out those things first. Take out that. He's deploying the scorches up here, which is good. That's exactly what you want to do. And he's just going to move into my base and just destroy it because the scorchers are so OP. I and mean, then he's the going to deploy it. And one last little scorcher that wasn't able to get deployed at the very front of the raid. And all these Scorcher attacks are probably getting boring, but I'm actually better than a lot of these guys at Scorcher attacks. Because, like, on a level 62 base, you shouldn't lose any. He didn't lose any, but they shouldn't be any close to dying unless that guy has prototypes, which I didn't have. So, those are those two attacks. We showed you that attack. I might have actually showed you that attack twice. I think I just showed you that attack twice, guys. Uh, so Grenadiers and Medics, this is a combo a lot of people are using for people who have a high amount of health, HP boost, but the, I don't even have any HP boost, so you're going to see how OP the strategy actually is. You don't need to worry about rocket launchers because your Medics heal. The only thing you need to worry about is, uh, I don't know why I'm sticking down the rocket launcher. The only thing you have to worry, worry about is the boom cannons because they're going to one-shot your Grenadiers, and your Medics should heal you in time for the rocket launcher so he's gonna get uh, always have a shot done on this boom cannon and that's gonna help him because it's not gonna kill him off and you're gonna see here this is gonna be a super op strategy we're gonna set it at times two speed and tomorrow guys or today for you is going to be hammerman so expect a hammerman video either today or tomorrow Pro, uh, yesterday was Hammerman for you. I'm going to upload this video a day after that because I want to have Hammerman out on the days it comes out because it's still a new event and it's still awesome. And uh, I love it so much. Okay, so this uh, cannon definitely goes down and everything just dies around it. I Again, I would have went from the left side because it's a little cleaner. It's a little more straight cut, but it's totally okay if he wants to go from the other side. And those were actually level 10 Grenadiers. I don't know what the max level is, but that is pretty high. Uh, can we go any further back on the act? Okay, we can't go any further back on the activity log, so I think that's going to be it for the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like as always, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.